Eyewitness Sports right now. Utica Comets played the Syracuse Crunch for the third game in a row tonight. The Comets won both games against the North Division rival this weekend and came in tonight 8-1-1-0 against Syracuse this year. Utica wearing its black jerseys tonight for the Save of the Day Foundation. Early in period one, captain forward Ryan Schmelzer opens scoring as the puck bounces off his stick three minutes into the game. It's tied at one in period two when Alexander Holt speeds up, shoots a dart to the corner, falls down on the way. And now that's his team leading 21st goal of the season to regain the Comets lead. Gets tied at two though, goes to overtime and right there the Crunch score the game winner with a single second left in OT. Utica earns five of a possible six points from the series though. The Comets next play Friday at home against the Toronto Marlies. And as mentioned this week, the Comets are wearing those special black jerseys for the Save of the Day Foundation. You can buy raffle tickets for the jerseys, which will be auctioned off on Saturday after the game, and also bring some cash donations for the foundation at this week's games. In high school sports, New Hartford boys basketball played in the state tournament tonight for the first time in 15 years. And the Spartans had to play in the sub-regionals round this time against Section 10 champion Franklin Academy from Malone. New Hartford falls behind 7-2 in the first part of the first quarter. Turnover here by Zach Flip Kuski over to Connor Karwowski who had 10 points. Then another turnover. Zach Philip Kuski goes to the paint, spins, turns, jumps, layup. He had 18 points in quarter one. The Spartans on a 13-point run to take the lead. But Philip Kuski hits an air ball. Even when he messes up, it turns into the play of the game. Jack Martinuk flying squirrel for a great save. Will Trela scores to make it second on the team with 11 points. Then from the corner, it's Andrew Durr, the senior, who said this could be his final game. But he had nine buckets beyond the arc total for the Spartans. And in the final seconds of the half, Hilkuski hits that buzzer beater, makes it a 24-point lead for New Hartford at halftime. Hilkuski and other starters were actually removed from the game in quarter three. He ended with 41 points this evening, would have easily likely broken the school record for 49 points in a game had he stayed in. The Spartans win 93-45. That's a 48-point win, saving their highest scoring game in more than 14 years for when it mattered most. We came into half. We played better towards the end of the second half, and then it carried over to the third. And fourth, we were able to get the people on the bench in the game, and that was fun. I was just talking to Zach, and I was like, well, we're going to regional finals. This is crazy. And it's kind of like, let's go get it. Let's see how far we can do this. Obviously, last game, we, it was a close one. Not exactly what we wanted, still pulled it out. But this game just had fun, got the big win, and it's a great feeling. By winning this much, everybody got to play, everybody got good minutes, so that's nice. That so every, everybody's going to be ready for Saturday. Up next is the Class A State Regionals against Section 2 champion McKeel Christian Academy. Saturday, 11 a.m. at Hudson Valley Community College. And in Division I men's basketball today, conference tournaments continued. Colgate has punched its ticket to the NCAA tournament by winning its third Patriot League title in four years. The Raiders never trailed, led by as many as 24. Navy did go on a 16-point run late in the game, but Colgate holds on. And Syracuse won this afternoon in the ACC second round. Cole Swider led with 28 points. Next up for the Orange is a rematch with top seed Duke in the quarterfinals tomorrow. And Herkimer College played in the NJCAA Division III quarterfinals. The general season, though, comes to an end with a 56-38 loss. It was a nine-point deficit at halftime. Tavon Bates led the Generals with nine points. Herkimer ends the year 21-5 and overall. So for now, that's all for sports. But go check out cnyhomepage.com for all your other top sports stories and full interviews with the Spartans from today's game. As always, there's more eyewitness news after the break. So stay friendly and stay tuned.